So the only farming spots I've got is that hill to the northwest of um, Mount Sinai. And the tile immediately to the east of Mount Sinai. So I'm going to have to think that one through, actually. Going to quickly upgrade that. Not because it gets a lot better, but just in case we get attacked. That city's defence will go up as a consequence. Going to move that there. Fan dabby dozy. So, where's this attack? Given he was in my city, he couldn't attack me really, could he? <laughs> Good, we rigged the Antwerp election. Which means they'll be allies with us for far longer. Which means our happiness will stay up. Strictly speaking, our happiness situation is not hugely important now, but every little helps. We're going to leave that one square out of his boundary in case he's got something right on the doorstep and it's nasty. Okay. We're going to have to start building some air units just to protect us when he gets air units. The point is that the triplane has such a bad range strength. But we'll get a couple. You can always upgrade it later when they become um, regular fighters and bombers, I believe they are. Set up for ranged attack. Thank you very much. Right. When's his attack going to come? Because he's plotting on us. We know that. So what's going to happen and when? It's a good job on building the Circus Maximus because our happiness is really dropping at pace. And I mean proper pace. So we're going to we're going to move that there. In fact, I'm not too fearful about that one being attacked. Going to do that. Going to fortify. Going to fortify, or at least not do anything. Can't fortify with artillery because they get no defensive bonus from terrain. So now we're going. Oh, hang on. We can't go after it because. Whoa, oh, oh yeah, because our production went up, didn't it? So it might be better off building it in Antioch instead. Okay, we can do that instead. That's not a problem. We will build our Eiffel Tower in Antioch. And instead we will build a stock exchange because the more gold we can produce, the more units we can buy, the quicker we can mobilise, the quicker we can kick his ass, pretty much. There we Your go. Your wanton aggression leaves us no choice. I want an aggression after we ourselves tried to crush everybody on the map. So tires declared on me, like I said. Not bothered about that, to be honest. It's got nothing to attack me with. It's got one Gatling gun. So. Hmm. Literally, the only guy that likes is a guy that is so weak, I don't think he could even provide me with one unit, even if he wanted to. So, where are we going to do... Why is that Citadel got to be there? It's so annoyingly placed. I could just put my own down, but I don't feel the need to. Going to fire at that, might as well. I'm going to leave the rest here to keep me um, shielded. In theory, I could plonk a citadel down there, but I'd rather have the bonus from the great general. So, there's, he's got a lot of cannons. <laughs> How about them cannons? Oh dear, that's the problem. Well, I one hit killed them. Normally that wouldn't be a problem, but obviously in this case it is. And if I move this Gatling gun, what's going to happen is my artillery is going to get its arse handed to it. But I've got no choice right now but to move it. Righty ho. The Great War Infantry is the only thing that is a major issue for me. 
but the problem is that all those cannons in conjunction as a team will become a problem. In isolation, they are horribly weak, but as a team effort, they will become a problem. So what we're going to do is attack that horse with this horse, and then move that horse out of the way. And we're going to put it into a healing position. We're going to attack. Okay, boom, that's one gone. Uh, which one gets the bonus in rough? That gets two, that gets three. Okay, no brainer. Mombasa is still in resistance, so... Oh, the next turn it won't be, so I'll put a unit in there to boost its defence. Yeah, I'm in the weird situation where those Great War Infantry I don't want to attack with in fear of actually killing the unit. <laughs> I've got to keep a couple of rifles over here just in case people get all shirty. Um, are there any other units that I'm not using properly? doesn't look like it. Technically that will be a stalemate, but I might as well. Bring the next turn, please. Yep, that unit is safe. You can keep building that well. Lovely jubbly. Oh, they killed a Gatling gun. How rude. How rude. Luckily it was a Gatling gun with like no experience, so not particularly bothered to be honest, but still rude. For a guy that was at war with Hiawatha so long, he really has acquired a hell of a lot of units. Not too worried, but you know, still a lot of units. Uh, what do we want to attack here? I think they alone might be able to take the uh, unit out, so we'll do that. We will do that. We'll keep plugging away. He's gonna attack me. He's gonna be a bitch. He's gonna die like a bitch. He's going to wait your turn. See, getting sentry was an absolute godsend. I don't even have to send my unit into danger. Is there any unit there? There isn't. But I'm not tempted to go after St. Louis because it's a, such a crap city. That has gone. That has gone. Two units have just gone boom! That is exactly what I need from that unit. Uh, what, ooh, um, that Valletta work is right in the bloody way. <laughs> that unit has gone. Because we're going to put our Gatling gun in there to heal. I'm going to send this Gatling gun up here. And we're going to leave this horse here to try and heal the other units more quickly. So, is that everything on this turn? Looks like it. It's not like, it doesn't look like I'm going to be attacked down at that city I can't pronounce. <laughs> that I can't make a verbal pun of either. Because it doesn't sound like tin of beans or can of beans. Keep building. That unit's perfectly safe. It's just been a win. I'm going to leave that in the city until I've finished building that. Because it would be a waste to hurry the production of that unit. Um, okay. Wow, he took a whole four damage from a cannon. One of my great war infantry. I bet he was worried. Probably been lightly tickled by a feather duster. What's Tyre doing? Absolutely nothing. Oh, Copenhagen's converted to the wrong religion. I sound like a proper crusader. <laughs> Can't quite take that out. Going to have to be patient. That will also have to wait its turn. The ambulance will have to wait its turn. It's not its feeding time. 
Oh, it's finally got units in there. Okay. No problem. Hmm, what do we want to attack? Going to have them both attack the cannon because it can fire on the artillery, I think. Possibly, maybe. Don't know. Probably not, but you want to be safe. How did he get so many Great War infantry? He's only had them for like half a dozen turns. I am going to get March and run away though from that. Because that is not a fight I should be engaging myself in. This doesn't have March, this Gatling gun, so I'm going to have to not attack. And that's going to have to fortify... Uh, what terrain is it on? A hill. It should be okay in theory. You would have thought with this city getting a pounding, you would have come to the rescue of it, but no. Nope. I'm actually going to send my infantry around there to try and sort the situation out a bit down by uh, Mombasa. Because I'm going to inevitably lose a unit or two if I'm not careful. I've already lost one. Luckily it was just a rubbish Gatling gun. But you don't want to lose any units that you can, if you can get away with it, frankly. Mongolia has denounced the US. I bet they were so concerned with their word. I believe... <laughs> The American cavalry killed itself. It wasn't even friendly fire that killed it. Oh, modern satire. <laughs> the whole country. Radio, finally. Mombasa, Kelsa Breeze can fire on an enemy. Really? Fire or of the artillery. That actually technically didn't do anything. I just wasn't paying attention. Which is, I've just thought, I can't actually hit it, can I? Boo! Gonna have to wait a turn long because I didn't think that through. <laughs> Never mind, it's not a massive disaster. I really didn't think that through, though. Going to move that back. I can kill that cannon, so I will. That isn't fortified, so I'll do more damage attacking it. So I shall attack that one. Going to quickly fortify that for a turn, even though it has march. Oh, I can't quite kill it. That's a shame. Right, let's get this infantry involved. Unfortunately, there's no road from Brantford to Mombasa, per se, from that route. There's one going across from Montreal. But that doesn't really do a lot for me. Kind of just the path that goes off to nowhere. <laughs> Wow, that Gatling gun's healing 35 health a turn. That is a lot. And they are taking enormous damage attacking me. And how many waves of cannons can one guy have? Seriously, why didn't he go for artillery and dynamite? What, what an idiot. I'm getting a hell of a lot of upgrades here. Ooh! I can have another range or a logistics. I believe I have a four ranger, so I'm going to get logistics on this one. This will be one of the few times we go for volley first. So that if these start fortifying, I can just kick their backsides. Because the immediate defence and the main attack on cities both benefit from volley, so that's the way we're going to roll. Oh, that city, um, did it kill it? We're going to switch places with that one. And we're going to fire again on that. Because next turn we can take that out. 45. We're going to attack the cannon. 
we're going to attack the infantry there. We're going to attack the infantry again. Or can we go after the cavalry? We get a 30% bonus on the cavalry because it's in open land, so we'll attack that. And that guy's bloody work is in the way again. Why did I return it to them? Why did I think that was a good idea? The good guy Greg clearly isn't getting his reward here. If you enjoyed the video you've just seen, please join my Facebook group and follow me on Twitter for the latest news.